everyone! I'm Miss Megan from Growing Great and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making the recipe for America's Garden Soup. So let's see what our ingredients are. For this recipe, you'll need two cans of diced tomatoes with basil, garlic, and oregano, undrained. Two cans of potatoes, drained. One can of cut green beans, drained one can of whole kernel corn, drained, one can of drained zucchini. Now, my grocery store didn't have any canned zucchini, so I just got one fresh zucchini. Um, I chopped it up and sauteed it lightly in olive oil. And then lastly, you'll need one can of sliced carrots, drained. In addition to these canned goods, you'll need three cups of soup base, uh, either vegetable or chicken stock, three quarters of a cup of chopped parsley for our garnish, and then a half a teaspoon of dry red pepper flakes, salt and pepper to taste, and two teaspoons of sugar. So keep in mind, as you're picking out your canned foods, always look for a low sodium option on those vegetables. Okay, so now it's time to get cooking, but first, let's make sure we wash our hands. Follow me. All right, now we're ready to get cooking. So for this recipe, in addition to my ingredients, I'll also need a large soup pot um, that can hold five quarts, a spoon for stirring, a measuring cup for measuring, and of course my stove top. So let's get cooking. So first I'm going to measure out three cups of my broth. I chose vegetable broth because I'm vegetarian, but you can also use chicken broth or any other broth you like. There's one, two, and three. There's only about four cups in this container, so we'll probably end up using most of it. And now, I love this recipe because it is so simple. We're going to add all of our ingredients except our parsley, and then we're going to bring our soup to a boil. So let's add my diced tomatoes, my sliced carrots, Now, last but not least, I'm going to add my red pepper, my white pepper, my salt, and that little bit of sugar. Now it's time to put the lid on and bring our soup to a boil. So now as we can see, our soup has come to a boil. And so now I'm going to reduce the heat to low, put the lid back on and allow it to simmer for 15 minutes. Okay, so our timer is done. So now we can go ahead and take the lid off our soup. Hmm. It smells delicious. And I'll go ahead and turn my heat off. All right, I'm gonna give it a little stir. This looks absolutely delicious, so come here and take a closer look. So here's my bowl, and now time for some parsley. All right, so the last step is tasting. You'll probably want to let your soup cool for a couple minutes before you taste it. So yummy. Thanks for joining me in the Growing Great Kitchen. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. 
If you'd like to check out more fun STEM and nutrition activities, be sure to email megan at growinggreat.org. And if you'd like to check out more delicious and healthy recipes you can do in your kitchen, be sure to visit delmonte.com. Now, stay safe and I'll cook with you next time.